Good afternoon, dear friends, and welcome to this Holy Mass in thanksgiving to God for the gift of my priestly ordination. I thank God for the gift of my parents, my siblings, my family, friends, all those who have supported me throughout these many, many years. It's been a long journey for me, and I want to thank you for being with part of this journey, praying for me, supporting me, encouraging me, and just being my friends through this journey. May God bless you and reward you immensely. I bring all your concerns and your families to God on this altar, and I hope that God will answer me and bless all of you today. I pray for my dad who has passed, that God may grant him rest, and pray for all those who invested in me but are not here today, that God may grant them the rest they deserve. I invite you to sing with me, Immaculate Mary, thy praises we sing. Immaculate Mary, thy praises we sing. When now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven be blessed, your glory proclaim. On earth we thy children invoke your fame. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear friends, I want to thank all of you who are able to join now or later in this Mass to pray with me as I offer God thanks for the 24th anniversary of my ordination. Pray that God may bless all of you who have been with me. And this Mass is going to be offered for all of you. And so to prepare ourselves, dear friends, for this Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercies, your only son, while hanging on the cross, appointed Mary, his mother to be our mother also. Like her and under her loving care, may your church grow day by day, rejoice in the holiness of its children, and so attract to itself all the peoples of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from this letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For from the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision, non circumcision counts for anything, but only faith through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, Let your name come to me. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Your salvation according to your promise. 
Take not a word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinance is my hope. Let your mercy and I will keep your law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you and with your spirit, reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Mary set out and traveled to a hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her heart, was filled with the Holy Spirit, and cried out in a loud voice and said, most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For the moment your breathing reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today, um, 24 years ago, I can only imagine how it felt like um, when I got a dream. But I still remember vividly how that feeling was. And I'm trying to capture that feeling 24 years after. And over the last 24 years, God has taken me to almost every place I never imagined. And has brought me to meet people I never thought possible. Not in my wildest imagination. And it's brought me to do things I never thought I could do. And so there is great cause for me to be grateful and be thankful. But what I am today and what I have been able to, to do all these 24 years would not have been possible without all of you, God's wonderful people who have prayed, who have stood by, who have encouraged who have loved, who have tolerated, who have just borne all of the pressures of my life with me. And I just want to thank you and thank you and ask that God would bless you, bless you in every good way. Something stands out with me, um, what stands out to me um, in this gospel reading. So Mary goes and travels to the hill country to visit Elizabeth. And when she gets there, Elizabeth and John the Baptist and Zechariah are overwhelmed by her presence. And then she goes on in this tirade of blessing her and saying all the good things and all the wonderful things that have happened in her life. But when she responds, I like how she, when she responds, she turns her gaze to God. So she's not there saying to herself, you know what, yeah, I have, you know how I have lived my life, I have been great, I have been awesome, I have been this, I have been, she knows everything and anything she is, is a gift from God. And so she, you realize 
while Elizabeth is out there giving her all of these praises and telling her what a wonderful woman she is. She is blessed among women and she's blessed for believing that what was promised, how it fulfilled. She knew that none of that would have been possible without God's grace. So she turns her gaze to God. It says, my soul proclaims the greatness of the God. It is thanks to the greatness of God that I am all of these things that you are saying to me, Elizabeth. It is thanks to God's greatness that I am any of this. And her spirit is full of rejoicing. And that's something that sometimes I think we are we miss today in life. We no longer understand and no longer know how to rejoice. We spend too much time, you know, either angri angrily reacting, sad, miserable, sorrowful, quarreling, blaming. We, we have lost the desire and the joy of rejoicing. Because every time we look at, we're looking at the things that have not gone well, the things that didn't go well, the people that did not do right, then we forget that there is so much out there that is happening right. And that was what Elizabeth was able to see. When Elizabeth saw Mary, she went on and on of all the good things that have happened in her life. And believe it, if you look in your own life and look in the world and look in everything that is happening today, yes, there are bad, terrible things happening. But there are more wonderful and great things happening today that should fill our souls and our spirits with thanksgiving and rejoicing. But that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at all that didn't go well, a marriage that didn't work, a business that failed, the coronavirus that stopped us. We're looking at people that walked away from our lives, the people that we lost, people that died. And all of those things do matter. But there's not much we can do about those things. We can prepare ourselves to deal with those things and to cope or rather thrive through them with just this one sentence. My soul rejoices in God my Savior. Can you learn to rejoice for who you are, for what you are, for what you bring to the world? Can you just learn to rejoice for today? Can your soul be filled with rejoicing just for today? For yourself, for your grandchild, for someone who said good morning to you today, for the fact that you are here, can you just learn to rejoice? My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. And that's something I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to let my life be filled with rejoicing for you, for everything that you have meant to me for everything that we have been able to achieve and do together, and for what is left to be done. Let us just allow ourselves to be overwhelmed with rejoicing. Let us capture what that feels like to rejoice in the Lord. So always I'd like to end my reflections by reminding you that you remain the delight of God Almighty, and you have every reason and every good cause to rejoice no matter what. Nothing upsets the devil and nothing puts up the devil than when God's children are rejoicing no matter what because they know what promises God has for them. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary has always shown her concern and protection for her children especially in times of struggle and difficulty. Let us ask her to join her intercessions with us as we come to the merciful Father. For the Catholic Church and for all of God's people in the world, for this land that God has given to us and that we call home, that united hearts and souls with our Holy Father and the bishops we may join in continuous prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved nation and for nations around the world, that our leaders may preserve 
and promote justice, peace, and freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many different peoples who make up our society, that living in harmony, in tolerance, and in mutual understanding, we may always welcome those who seek a new life in the land of the free. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people in our community, that like St. John, the beloved disciple, they may make a home for Mary in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have helped me, O God, in these 24 years of priesthood, for those who have died, including my dad, that you may grant rest. For those who are living, including my family, my mom, my siblings, my friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. And all those who have enabled me to answer your call and to steer the course. That you may grant them every good blessing that they need. And just fill their souls with rejoicing today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, especially those battling the coronavirus. Pray for doctors and nurses who constantly risk their lives every day to provide care. That the sick may know healing. That doctors may and nurses may find protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I bring your intentions now to God. Through our blessed mother as we say, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Our life, our sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished well of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of our own Jesus, O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Blessed I Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made, it become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed I Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my beloved sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God. Our mighty Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Lord, accept our gifts and make them the sacrament of salvation. By its power, warm our hearts with the love of Mary, mother of the church, and join us more closely with her in sharing the redeeming work of her son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son Jesus Christ. We praise you and proclaim your glory as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. She received your word in purity of her heart and conceiving in her virgin womb, gave birth to your son and so nurtured the church in its very beginning. She accepted God's parting gift as she stood beneath the cross and so became the mother of those who were brought to life through the death of her son. She joined her prayers with those of the apostles as together they awaited the coming of the Spirit and so became the perfect partner of the church in prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she cares for the pilgrim church with a mother's love until the day of the Lord dawns in splendor. 
Now with angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are clean. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. They may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, the Lord Jesus took bread, giving thanks he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, the Lord took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. With the first acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Charles Starr, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant, dear Lord, that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the words our Lord gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always and with your spirit. My dear friends, from me to all of you, may God's peace rest and abide now and forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Look up, my sisters and brothers, and behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. Most gracious God, on this day where some of your children are still unable to attend Mass and receive you physically, we ask for grace of spiritual communion. 
as they yearn for you and long for you, O oh God, like running streams. May they be nourished by your grace to meet their physical needs, their emotional and mental needs, and their spiritual needs. These are the favors we ask, and we are confident, O oh God, in faith that you will grant through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Lord, we have received the foretaste of and promise of the fullness of redemption. We pray that your church, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may proclaim the gospel to all nations, and by the power of the Spirit, reach to the ends of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd like to take a moment to express my thanks to all of you for joining at this Mass and for praying with us in thanksgiving to God for the gift like this, the gift of my ordination. Pray that God may continue to watch over, that he may provide for you, that he may bless you, that he may protect you and yours and keep you safe every day. If you forget everything I said, don't forget this. You are still the delight of God Almighty. God loves you. And I hope that you will find time in your life every day for the remainder of your life to rejoice, to let your soul, to let your spirit rejoice in the Lord like our blessed mother. Let your spirit and your soul rejoice in the Lord. Catch your rejoicing again and make it part of your arsenal. Let the devil die of jealousy because your joy just puts him to shame. Be happy in the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us say the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and sins of the devil. May God rebuke him with humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, cast him to hell, Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world, seeking the reins of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. To the prayers of our Blessed Mother, May God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, this Mass is ended. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our closing hymn, we will sing, Hail Mary, Gentle Woman. We will sing verse 1 and the chorus, or the refrain. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and all the hour of our death. Amen. Gentle woman, quiet Lord, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love.